Hi guys! Welcome back to Crafty Kids! In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make an easy paper egg holder. So this is a very easy way of making a paper egg holder and it's useful too. So whenever you're having breakfast, lunch or dinner, you can keep this egg holder on the table and it can be a really useful stand. So you can even keep it on the table but if you use this holder, it will be really cute and useful as well. So without any further delay, let's get started and we'll be seeing how to make this really cute egg holder. So for this, we do not need many materials, we just need a scissor and uh, we need a marker for the decoration so decoration is a very important part so it's just like a simple craft when you decorate it will be really, looking really cute and easy so then we're going to needing a glue bottle then you can take an egg so i'm just taking a fake egg so this has the capability of holding the power of any egg so you guys can take a real egg then we're only going to be needing a square piece of paper so i just took like this uh brownish goldish yellow so, so you guys can take any color paper you like you can take yellow green blue pink red or anything or orange doesn't matter so i just took this color because it's like really cute and uh, cool so you guys can take any color paper you like so now without any further delay let's get started so before we start please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet like share and comment also press the bell icon so that you will receive a notification whenever i upload a video so now without any further delay let's get started so by starting off i'm just going to take a square piece of paper like this the first step is that i'm just going to fold this piece of paper in half like this so now I'm just going to be opening this paper like this and I'm going to be folding the paper in half in the opposite direction. Now I'm going to be opening it back and I'm going to be folding it diagonally like this on one side of the paper. And now I'm going to be opening it again and I'm going to be folding it diagonally on the opposite side. So please do the folds perfectly and take a good square piece of paper because this is the only paper we're going to be needing for this craft. So it's really important to make, that, make sure that this paper is nice and cute and fine. So as I said, you guys can take a real egg. I'm just taking a toy egg because sometimes it might break down and uh, it get messy. So you guys can take a real egg and you can use it to keep it in your table. First step is that, next step is that I'm just going to fold it in half like this. Now I'm going to fold in both sides of the paper to the middle part of the paper like this. So after we complete this, I'm just going to be taking the top part of the paper and I'm going to be keeping this inside and I'm going to be doing like a house-like structure over here. So we'll be having like this. So now I'm just going to be doing the repeating the same step on the opposite side of the paper, paper as well. So I'm just going to be inserting this over here and then I'm just taking it. So if the top part does not turn out like a perfect triangle, you can take like a scissor and you can put it inside to make the top part look really nice over here like this. So the next step is that I'm just going to be turning the paper to the opposite side of the paper. And I'm going to take this side and I'm folding it inside and I'm going to take the next side over here and I'm going to be folding it inside over here as well. So after we complete this, I'm going to take the bottom part of the paper and I'm going to be folding it over here to make like a triangle like this. So now I'm just going to be doing the same step on the opposite side. Now I'm going to be turning the paper to the opposite side and I'm going to be doing the same steps again like this. So next step is that I'm just going to be taking this paper and I'm going to be folding it to the top. Next step is that I'm turning it to this direction and I'm going to fold it to the top again. Now as you guys see, we'll be having like a hole inside this part. So I'm just going to be opening it gently like this. So I'm just going to be opening it over here slowly like this and I'm going to turn it. So now we'll have like a hat-like structure. So I'm just going to be pushing it from the top direction over here. So now I'm just going to be opening it gently over here and I'm going to be pushing it inside like this in this hole over here. So I'm just going to be expanding it nicely and I'm going to be pushing it. So now I'm going to be turning the paper to the opposite side and I'm going to be pushing it over here in this direction as well. So I'm just going to be pushing it slowly. So this needs to be done really slowly. So now I'm going to be turning this one over here and I'm going to be pushing it gently. So this is a really important part. So this is the part which makes the holder nice and steady. So I'm just going to be folding it and pressing it on the corners and I'm going to pushing it inside like this. So this will also look like a crown. So please make sure that it's pushed in nicely so that it will be like a really cute egg holder. So after we complete this structure of the holder is ready. So now we'll be starting off the decoration and uh, keeping the egg inside. So now I'm just going to take another toy egg and I'm going to keep it over here. So as you guys see, it will stand really cute. So this can... Uh, 
um, stand any size of the egg and it can be really big as well. So for this, I'm just going to be taking like a 9 into 9 centimeter paper for this one. It will be the correct size for keeping a normal egg. So if you guys want, you can take like any color paper or if you're going to be taking like a toy egg, you can take any size you like. So now we'll be starting off the decoration and I'm just going to be taking a black marker over here. Now I'm going to be writing an egg holder over here. So I'm just going to write an E, G, G over here. And on the bottom part, I'm just going to be writing holder. H, O, L, D, E, R. So now I've completed writing egg holder. And I'm just going to be doing like a little bit of a slight decoration over here. So for the decoration, I'm just going to be drawing like small W-like wavy lines over here at the bottom part of the paper. Now I'm going to put in like small dots around the middle part of the paper like this. So as I said, decoration is a very important part and should be done perfectly so that the output is nice. So I'm just going to be doing some simple decoration tips. You guys can use any decoration you like. So now over here, I'm just going to be drawing like three lines over here and three lines over here and two over here. Now I'm just going to be drawing like a big dot over here in the middle. So I'm going to be putting the same decoration over here on this side of the paper as well. So 3-3 three, three on one side and 2 on the other side and a small big dot over here like this. So now I'm just going to be turning the paper to the back side and you can do any decoration. So here I'm just going to be drawing like 2 dots over here and 2 dots on this side. And I'm just going to be drawing a line in between these dots like this. So as I said you can do any decoration tips so you can even watch Google for more decoration ideas. So now at the bottom I'm going to be drawing like a big dot, like a medium size. And here I'm going to be drawing like small dots to the bottom part over here. So next step is that I'm just going to be coloring this in with small dots. So I'm just going to be drawing a straight dotted line from the top to the bottom dot that we have already drawn. And I'm making like a big dot at the bottom part over here. Next step is that I'm just going to be drawing one small line over here and another small line over here. And I'm going to be drawing a triangle in between this. So you guys can look at Google for more decoration ideas as I said. So in the middle, I'm just going to be like putting small dots over here. So as you guys see, without touching the triangle, you can put many dots over here. You can follow more decoration patterns. I've posted many videos on my channel. And I showed you guys different decoration patterns for that. You guys can refer that. And now I'm just going to be coloring this in over here. So if you did any mistake, you can color this in. So if you don't do any mistake, you can just like try some more decoration ideas over here. So on this side of the paper, I'm just going to be drawing two lines over here. And I'm going to be coloring it. The rest part with dots, that's it. I'm just doing like simple design ideas. So you guys can do more decoration and make it more prettier. So decoration is the main part as I said because it's just like simple craft and decoration makes it more cuter. So now here I'm going to put in dots as well but I'm going to make like, like a really bigger size than the older ones. So I'm just going to be placing a few dots over here on this part of the paper as well. So now I'm going to turn it to the front part where we've turned the egg holder and I'm just going to push it gently over here because since we've done decoration this part might have gone smaller since we wrote things and did all those things. So I'm just going to push it over here. So the next part is that after we complete decoration, I'm just going to be flipping it to the opposite side as you guys see this hole has made gone smaller. So I'm just going to be pushing it from the top part as well and I'm going to be making it like kind of perfect from the bottom part. So now I'm going to be turning this paper over here and I'm going to be applying some forces over here and I'm making it nice and flat. So you can apply more decoration as well. So you can just take like a rectangular piece of paper and you could uh, like write something and you can even stick it over here. So now I'm just going to be drawing like a big small circle over here and this shows where the egg should be placed. So I'm going to be cutting it in slowly like this. So as you guys see, I've completed this and you can take the egg and place it. So I'm just going to be taking this egg and I'm placing it for showing it to you guys over here. And it can be placed really easily and quickly as well. So I haven't drawn it over here so if you want you can draw it. And this has a really good capability of holding. So after we complete this, our paper egg holder is ready. So you guys can place this egg over here and you can use it as a cute uh, table decoration idea. So as you guys see, I've done different decoration over here. You can see this for more decoration ideas. And you can even continue to watch my channel and different videos for more decoration ideas like this. So after we complete this, our paper egg holder is ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. So before I conclude, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you will receive a notification whenever I upload a video. And thank you all for supporting me and my channel and keep continuing to watch my channel for more interesting videos like this. I post videos regularly and you guys can uh, 
Uh, if you have any ideas about what I should post in my channel, you can comment in the comment box. And uh, if you have any doubts, you can even ask over that. And I'll see the comments as soon as possible. And I'll respond to them as soon as possible. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.